One eye on the result from ring B. He's a, a boxer there, Pavel Silyag in the Russian, who they've taken with in the previous round. So we'll bring you news on his result. But this guy, the fans love. Harvoya Sep, European bronze medalist. He's getting on though. He's been to uh, plenty of uh, championships. But he just keeps coming forward, keeps throwing punches. And in his way is this 24 year old uh, Australian. Aaron Spaniolo, who's starting to win things back home. Can he translate that onto the world stage? Set versus uh, Spaniolo in the light heavyweight division. Not actually that much between this pair on paper, certainly according to the rankings. Set ranked 27. With Aiba, 40 Spaniolo, but the, no doubt the experience is with the Croatian. No holding, keep your heads up, keep your punches up, okay? Thank you, Ken. Good luck. Well, here we go. Sep is one of these guys that. You feel he, he should be beatable because he, he comes forward, but he just keeps coming. Extremely aggressive all night. Yeah, these are what the fans, this type of style is what the fans are enjoying with these championships. Spaniolo. Gonna have to keep popping that jab out and moving left to right. Because Sepp's gonna wait for him to hold his feet and then let his bombs go. Fourth time that Sepp the Croatian has been to a world championship. He's got plenty of experience to draw on. Good uppercut there from the Australian. Um, Sepp lost his footing. He did land his own right hand there, Sepp. You see. The Croatia, he does nothing fancy, he's just going to keep coming at you pretty much in straight lines all night. So, Spaniola needs to, to come up with the appropriate plan. Typical. <laughs> of Sepp, he only knows one way to fight and this is it, Spaniolo should try and do everything he can to get Sepp on the back foot if possible. Don't hold, don't hold, guys. Jab, punch, move to the side, which he's trying to do now. I just don't think there's enough, there's enough, not enough force in Spaniolo's shots so far to stop Sepp coming forward or even make him think about stop coming forward. Five years between them, Spaniola, the younger man at the age of 24, he's not long sort of evolved from winning youth championships at national level. He's moved on to the seniors and this season is biggest win so far when he took that Oceania Confederation Championship. A good uppercut from Sepp. An old Mike Tyson combination of right hook to the body and then followed it up with an uppercut through the middle. And it just lifted Spaniolo's head up. A strong set, there's no doubt about it. And he advances under that fairly tight guard. He's relentless. Stop pressure from Set. Not always scoring the punches, but a couple of body shots in there as well. And I imagine Set's aggression will be rewarded. Well, Set standing on his feet. Is he a fan of that? Yeah. 
Not personally, no. In between rounds, I'd not, take a break. Yeah, not personally. Dave Alloway made me do it once. <laughs> and it didn't work for me. I just didn't enjoy it at all. I wanted to sit down and gather me, me breath and me, me thoughts and everything else. I suppose some people would say maybe the theory is the process of getting down, yeah. getting up is, is maybe a bit more tiring. Yeah, right? and inspiring. You never sit down between rounds inspiring. You always stay stood up. First round on the scorecards. A sweep across A, B and C for Harvoya Set, the Croatian. Stop! Stop! Hey, wait. Keep your kids up, OK? Walk. Putting the pressure on here, Seb, but he isn't having as much success as he would like to. Spaniolo's making a little bit of a nuisance of himself. He's not just going to stand there and take Seb's blows, he's making sure he's moving and throwing his own punches. Yes, cheeky little body shot there from Spaniolo. Don't hold, don't hold. Don't hold. Don't hold. Stop. 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 A few Croatian fans over on the far Break. side of their football tops shouting after Sep. And he unloads on Spaniolo over on that far corner. That's where he needs Spaniolo to be. Work the body well then, sir. Well, Sepp has become a bit of a favourite with fans, partly due to his exploits in the WSB, where he's won 20 bouts over the years. That sort of style that has lent itself to that tournament and his success. And here he goes. The type of style that doesn't give a boxer much longevity, though, either, is it, Alex? You know, Puts a lot of mileage on the clock. I could imagine him to being in some wars. Don't hold, Australia, don't hold. And also the longer format, I suppose, beyond three, three rounds probably suits him quite well. Well, there, there are definitely enough boxers oh. remaining in the tournament who hey, would fancy wait. their chances of outboxing. Oh, yeah, without okay. a doubt. It's not gonna, Stop. to be honest, it's not gonna take the very best boxer in the tournament to do that. But he is entertaining. Nigar and Spaniolo is maybe just a little, a little too inexperienced for the time being to do that. Some good stuff, though. Spaniolo in that round. The little cameos are being better. Just isn't quite strong enough to push Seth back. Confirmation on the scorecards that Seth taking that round on all three once again. So he's in command of his destiny. Providing this not spectacular, which of course can happen among the bigger weights. Keep your head up, keep your head up, okay? Whoop. Nice body shot from Spaniolo. <laughs> this is what Sepp's all about now. This is. His type of fight. He's 
getting to work more. Good shots down the side of the guard of Spaniolo. Yeah, it's becoming harder for the Australian. Spaniolo will be feeling them. He puts in a shift, Seb, doesn't he? He puts in a shift. Yeah. I mean, Stop. It hasn't Stop. been the most difficult of contest for him physically, so this will be good for Seb because, as we said earlier, he must have been involved in some wars over the years, and this type of bout will do no harm. Big right hands. Good response there, Dolphin Spagnolo showing a lot of heart. Don't hold, don't hold. over a minute to go. Non stop aggression and pressure from Harvoya Sep. Body shot from Spaniolo. It was a good body shot. A few more of them may slow set down. Take this pressure off. Don't hold, don't hold, guys, don't hold. It's been hard work for Spaniolo. He's tried, and there has been little glimmers, little mini successes for him. Finally, a little breather for Sep inside the final 30 seconds. It's a well timed punch from Spaniolo. He's had his moments, Spaniolo. Not enough, though, not, not enough moments. It's obviously a landslide, Sep, victory. That one. But he finished on the front foot. Spaniolo, better towards the end. Uh, the Croatians in full voice as they cheer their man. Well, valuable experience, no doubt, for the 24 year old Spaniolo, the man from. Victoria. Set King forward and forward through hundreds of punches and surely is still on the march. official confirmation of the result in this one. The winner in Ring B by way of points in the red corner representing Croatia. A popular result. Harvoya set the Croatian marches on to the quarterfinals. And we're also hearing from the other ring. This will please David. Your man, the Russian Siliagin, got past what was a, a tricky bow. Yeah, it looked like a tricky one. He had a glance over. He's boxing a really tall, broad shouldered southpaw from Azerbaijan. And uh, he's came through it. I like the look of that Russian. I think, I think he's the champion in waiting for me. Well, still two more quarter-finalists to be decided, and that includes Julio Lacruz, the Cuban number two seed.